so much to learn about. It'll make you want to shout, Mika! Hey, it's me, Mika! And today I'm in Peekaboo Playland in Eagle Rock, California. This place looks like so much fun. I can't wait to check everything out. Oh, look down here. I found one, two cars. Whoa, look how big these wheels are. Maybe they'll race. Vroom, vroom, vroom. Hey, I have an idea. What if we pretended that we were in a really busy town? There's lots going on, there's cars everywhere, and they're getting really dirty. And we have to build a car wash to wash the cars. Will you play with me? Awesome! All right, let's do it! One, two, three, four, I'm ready to explore! <laughs> Come on! Hey, let me know if you find a really good place to set up a car wash. Okay, let's see. Oh, what's under here? Hmm. Well, I have these two little cars. I don't know if this is a good spot, though. This big table already takes up so much space. <gasps> Whoa, look at this car. Oh, it even has eyes on it. Hello, Mr. Car. Hello. <laughs> Whoa, <gasps> we could wash this car too. It's a lot bigger than these. Hmm, we're gonna need a lot of space. We need a lot of things for a car wash. We need space, we need soap, we need water, we need sponges. All right, let's keep looking. I'm gonna look up here. Hello! Oh yeah, that's definitely not a good space for a car wash. <laughs> it's just a fun slide. <laughs> well, when in doubt, dance it out. Come on cars, let's dance it out. Check this place out. It's a tiny kitchen. This is so cool. There's table and chairs and a refrigerator full of food. Hmm, but this is not a great place for a car wash. You can't wash cars in the kitchen. <laughs> hey, look, there's a sponge in here. This will be the greatest sponge ever to just clean these cars, make them squeaky, shiny, clean. All right, we have a sponge, we have some cars, we still need to find the best place for our car wash. Let's go. Wait a minute. Is this the perfect place to build a car wash? Look at all of this space. There's blocks where we can build the car wash. Oh, there's a bucket. Oh, hi, uh, do you mind if I use this bucket? Thank you so much. Okay, we can pretend that there's soap and water in here. Okay, and look, there's a big car that we could wash. That'll be super fun. Okay, we have little cars, we have a big car, soap and water, sponge. Now we just have to build our car wash. Let's do it. I'm gonna build this tower. And I think that's a good height. Will you help me count these blocks? Okay, let's do it. One, two, three, four. So if I want the same tower on the other side, how many blocks will I need? That's right, four. Let's count them. One, two, three, four. See, now they're even, hmm. This can be a little roof. Okay, now let's test it out and make sure that our big car can fit through. Oh yeah, it fits. Okay, put that there and then, hmm. This will be really fun for the little cars. Welcome, welcome to the grand opening of Mika's Car Wash. We're looking for those dirty cars. We want to wash those cars. Oh, well, here's one right here. 
Whoa, you've been through a lot. We're gonna clean you up. Get some soap and water on here. There's a lot of dirt on this car. Squeaky, squeaky, squeaky clean. <laughs> oh, sorry, got some on your eye there. Okay, I think it's time to go through the car wash. <laughs> okay, let's go car. Get ready for the water. Shh. Are you? Kidding me? Are you the cleanest car ever? <laughs> you look amazing, so sparkly, so clean. Thank you. Oh, you are the most welcome. Well, have a great day. Bye. <laughs> now we can wash the little cars. Okay, here they are. One, two. Get some soap and water for these little ones. And scrub, scrub clean. Wow, this is so much fun. Clean, 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 scrub, scrub, scrub. Clean, 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 and a scrub, scrub, scrub. Now it's time to get all those bubbles off. Let's go through the car wash. <laughs> wow, you two look so clean. And guess what? There's a special part for little cars just like you. Welcome to the bonus slide. Boom, 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 boom. Here comes the blue one. All right, have a good day. Bye, car. <laughs> and here's the orange one. Ready for the slide now that you're all nice and clean? Boom, boom, boom. <laughs> all right, buddy, have a great day. Hey, I wonder if there are more cars that we can clean. Let's go. Hey, up here. Will you help me find more things to put through our car wash? Oh, great, let's do it. Hey, we haven't looked inside the tower yet. A fire truck! This fire truck could totally go through our car wash. There's a fish up here! Could a fish go through a car wash? <laughs> no! Fish don't need to get cleaned in a car wash. They're already in water. Goodbye, fish! Oh, I'm gonna go down the slide. I'll meet you at the bottom. Whoa! Did you see how fast I went? <laughs> okay, these two can go straight to the car wash. So long. <laughs> Here you go, fire truck. I'll meet you there. All right, let's keep looking. Oh, what's this? Oh, this is a baby carriage. A baby carriage does not need to go through the car wash. <laughs> This can go through our car wash. Okay, ready to get clean? Straight ahead, meet you there. Another baby carriage. That can't go through the car wash. A tractor. Oh, this will be so much fun to clean the tractor. All right, tractor, take a break from the farm. You're going to the car wash. See you there. Let's see if there's anything else that we can wash. I found an orange motorcycle. This can definitely go through the car wash. All right, I think we have everything we need. I'll meet you at the car wash. Let's go. Boom, 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 boom. Whoa, 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 oh, oh, oh. <laughs> oh no, the car wash. Well, that's okay. We can rebuild it. Do you remember how we built this thing? Oh, good. <laughs> okay, to build a tower. Nice. I think it looks pretty good. <gasps> hey, we did it. We did it. We never. 
never ever quit it. We did it. This looks amazing. See, you can always rebuild. All right, I need my bucket and sponge. And, ooh, let's wash this car first. Hello, car. We're gonna make you nice and clean. All right. And a scrub a dub dub, a scrub a dub dub, a scrub a dub dub, and a scrub a dub dub. Okay. Watch your eyes. I do have some soap here. Okay. All right. Now you can go through the car wash and get those bubbles off. There you go. Vroom, vroom. Shh. <gasps> so clean. Oh, you look so nice. Okay, we're gonna move you, tractor. Why don't you just dry in the sunshine? Oh, and it looks like you're ready to get clean. This is my first time cleaning a tractor. Whoa, it's a little different than a car. Get those wheels. Nice and soapy. Okay, are you ready for the car wash? Awesome, let's go. Looking good, Mr. Tractor. Okay, you can sit here to dry. Beautiful. And oh, what about my favorite, the orange motorcycle? Okay, Oof. it got even dirtier because I crashed into the car wash. My bad. <laughs> Squeaky clean. Squeak, 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 squeak. <laughs> okay, time to go through the car wash. Wow, you look amazing. Okay, you can sit here and dry. And last but certainly not least, we have our two little vehicles, fire truck and a car. I think we can wash you two at the same time. I love the sounds that vehicles make. Like they could have sirens on them like fire trucks. Woo, woo. Or they could have big engines. And it could sound like vroom, vroom, vroom. <laughs> okay, let's go through the car wash together. Shh. Wow. And you get to go down our super fun slide and then you'll get really dry. Ready? And now you fire truck. Everything is so nice and clean now. <gasps> Five, six, seven, eight. Now it's time to celebrate with a clean car parade. All right, first up we have beautiful Miss Green looking very nice and clean. You go, girl. Shh. Bye-bye, thank you so much. And next up we have this clean tractor headed back to the farm. So long, tractor. And we can't forget my little buddy here, the motorcycle that went through a crash, but survived. Go on, motorcycle. And our two friends, the fire truck and the big car. Ooh, ooh, ooh. All right, later. Today was so much fun playing with you at Peekaboo Playland. Thank you so much for helping me build that amazing car wash. We cleaned so many things together. We cleaned cars and trucks. Ooh, and a motorcycle. Vroom, vroom. <laughs> well, this is the end of this video, but if you want to watch more of my videos, all you have to do is search for my name. Will you spell my name with me? <laughs> cool. M-E-E-K-A-H. Mika. All right, I'll see you next time. Bye. Today I'm at Munchkin's Indoor Playground in Los Angeles, California. This place is so awesome because you get to move your body and have a lot of fun and we get to play a game today. Come on! Whoa! This place is amazing! It's slide time! Meet you at the bottom. And I landed in a ball pit! Whoa! Ball pits are so fun! Ooh, and I like all of 
these colors. Let's see. <gasps> Pink. <laughs> and there's blue. And white. There's so much you can do in a ball pit. You can dance. You could juggle. Whoa. I only know how to juggle two balls. I don't know how to do three yet. I have to keep practicing. <laughs> hey, look over here. Whoa, at the very top, it looks like a big scoop of ice cream or maybe a marshmallow or something. Oh, and there's a cool looking pattern on it. White, blue, white, blue, white, blue, white, blue, all the way around. Oh, I like that. Ooh, let's go inside. Ooh. Hello. <laughs> oh, this is a fun little space. Hmm. Whoa, look at this. This ball has words on it. Oh, let's read it. Go to the slide for an item to catch and find the play area that looks like it's match. A match, that means that it looks the same. Hmm. Hey, looks like we get to exercise our bodies and our minds. <laughs> this is gonna be a really good game for the mind. Hmm, go to the slide. There must be another slide here. Let's go find it. Oh, this has to be the other slide. I wonder what's gonna happen here that will help me play the game. <gasps> Look! Whoa, have you seen this before? It's a stethoscope. Maybe you've seen one at the doctor's office? Yeah, a doctor will use this to listen to your heartbeat. Oh yeah, nice and healthy. <laughs> I wonder if there's a doctor center around here. Let's go find out. Hmm, I wonder where this stethoscope goes. Oh, look at this cool thing. Oh, hello. Oh, let's look up here. Hmm. I don't think this is where our stethoscope belongs. <laughs> it's really fun though. Whoa. Hmm. <gasps> hey, look, mini clinic. We found it. This is a doctor's office. The stethoscope definitely belongs there. Come on. <gasps> Whoa. Oh, hello, welcome. Do you have an appointment? You're, oh, yep, you're right there. Come on in. <laughs> Doctors and nurses are so cool and very important. They take care of us and make sure we're feeling nice and healthy. They check your heartbeat, see what kind of tools are in here. Ooh, they'll probably look at your eyes and look inside your ears. <laughs> and sometimes they have you stick your tongue out and say, ah. Ooh, and look, there's some glasses. Ooh, one of my favorite colors too, yellow. And look, you can dress up like a doctor. So official. And a little hat. Whoa, how do I look? Dr. Mika. <laughs> okay, so this is definitely where the stethoscope goes. Okay, let's just clean up. And go back to the slide. Come on. I'm so excited to see what the next item is. <gasps> Here it comes. Whoa. <gasps> Do you know what this is? It's a tomato. Ooh, one of my favorites. Yum. <laughs> hmm, I wonder if there's a grocery store or something here. Let's go look. Whoa, a carousel. Ooh, look at this nice orange one. Let's get on. Oh, hello, horsey, I'm Mika. Hmm, I wonder how this thing works. That's not it. Oh, that's it. <laughs> Whoa, this is fun. Hey, what a cool way to look for a space where the tomato belongs. Hmm, let me know if you see something. <gasps> right there. A supermarket. This is definitely where the tomato belongs. Hey, look down here. More food. Yeah, a supermarket or a grocery store is where you can buy food. Like a tomato. Hmm. What are some other red foods? 
Ooh, what about this red pepper? Yummy. Hmm. Oh, here's another red pepper. And, oh, I love this red food. Strawberries. <laughs> I'm gonna have a red meal. Hmm. Ooh, more strawberries. And an apple. Okay, now I have all of my food. I have to pay for it. Let's go inside. <laughs> Come on. Do, 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 do. Okay. Oh. All right, let's see. Oh, I guess I can ring up my own items. Hmm. All right, bell pepper. Beep, beep, beep. Oh, interesting. <laughs> Strawberries. Beep, beep, beep. <laughs> okay. More strawberries. Beep, beep, beep. Oh, now we're cooking. Pepper. Beep, beep, beep. Ooh. Apple. Beep, beep, beep. Mm -mm 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 -mm. And tomato. Beep, beep, beep. Oh, yeah. Now we're grooving. How am I going to pay for this food? I don't know, but I'm in a good mood. <laughs> oh, it looks like I have a credit card here. Let's see. My grand total is... Okay, let's see. Okay, that worked. All right, don't need any change. I think I'm done here. <laughs> okay, so the tomato is with the food. Good job matching with me. Hey, let's go back to the slide and see what else comes down. Come on. I'm having so much fun. I wonder what the next item will be. Whoa, look at this. A firefighter helmet. Yeah, firefighters will wear a helmet like this to protect their heads when they're fighting fires. Huh, I wonder what kind of area would have a firefighter helmet. <laughs> Let's go find out. Whoa, did you find where the firefighter helmet belongs? <laughs> Good job, looks like a match. See, there's a fire truck and firefighters drive fire trucks to where the fire is to put it out and save the day. <laughs> this is a really cool truck. Oh, see the big ladder and, ooh, a walkie-talkie. <laughs> Firefighter Miki here, over. <laughs> yes, that is correct, everything is fine here. Yes, have a good day. <laughs> okay, mm-hmm, mm-hmm, and look, Here's where the siren is, so people know that a fire truck is on the way. It sounds like something like that. <laughs> okay, let's see. I'll put this firefighter helmet here. That way, if someone wants to play, they can be the driver and wear the firefighter helmet and look like a real firefighter. <laughs> let's go back to the slide and see what the next item is. Come on. Yes, so far so good. I think there's another item about to come down. Whoa, oh, that was fast. Ooh, what is this, Gouda? <laughs> That's kind of cheese, one of my favorites. <laughs> oh, do you know what letter that is? It's the first letter of the alphabet. <laughs> That's right, the letter A. Hmm, I wonder if there are more letters around here. Let's go look. Okay, I have the letter A. I wonder if there are any other letters around. Hmm. Oh, I see letters in there. Let's go inside. Oh, whoa, it's a trampoline. <laughs> All right, let's see. I have the letter A and there's B, C, D. This is definitely where the letter A goes. Hey, I know what we could do. We could think of an animal that begins with the letter A and then we could act it out. <laughs> hmm. <gasps> I have one. Ant eater. <laughs> Can you act like an ant eater? They do, in fact, eat ants. They have really long nose and mouth and they go around and they look for ants. Any ants over here? Nom, 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 nom. Any ants over here? Nom, 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 nom. Hey, give me that ant back. Nom, 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 nom. <laughs> oh, and the next letter, the letter B. Ooh, I know one, a bat. Let's act like bats together. Bats begin with the letter B, 
Spread your wings and fly like a bat. Or jump, whoa. Kind of feels like I'm flying for real. <laughs> and the letter C. Cat begins with the letter C. Hmm, how can we act like cat? Get your little paws out and meow, meow. Meow, meow, meow. Whoa, calm down, cat, calm down, cat. What about the letter D? The animal starts with the letter D. <gasps> dog! Can you act like a dog with me? Okay. <laughs> Good job! Now you can just jump and bounce and have, whoa, fun! <laughs> hey, bounce begins with the letter B. <laughs> Let's go back to the slide and see if there are any more items. Come on. Whoa, these slides are so cool. I wonder if anything else will slide down. Oh, look, it's one of the ball pit balls. I wonder if we need to go to the other ball pit. Whoa. Oh yeah, we definitely need to go to the other ball pit. Let's go. Okay, let's go find that ball pit. Come on. Whoa, a big white slide. Oh, I have to go down. Ready? Three, two, one. Woo! Whoa, that was so fast. Do you see the ball pit? It's behind me. Whoa, let's find a fun way to get into it. Hello. Whoa, look at this. It's a big slide. All right, I'm going down. See you at the bottom. Whoa. <laughs> I love that there are two ball pits in this indoor playground. Whoa. Oh, we just swim on over. <laughs> Ooh, this is so fun. This is definitely where the white ball belongs. There you go. <laughs> hey, look at this wall. See the two colors, pink and blue? And it makes a pattern, see? Pink, blue, pink, blue. Do you know what the next color is? <laughs> That's right, pink. Hey, look at that little car. It's so cute. And there's three more ball pit balls. There's a pink one, and a white one, and a blue one. And there's words on this one. Let's see. You've finished the game, now count all you've done, then go down the slide for some extra fun. Whoa, that means we finished the game. We did it, we did it, we really, really did it. Oh, awesome. Okay, it says count all you've done. Do you remember the items that we found? Okay, we found the stethoscope, the tomato, the firefighter helmet, the letter A, and a ball pit ball. Will you count the items with me? <laughs> Great. One, two, three, four, five. Good job. And then it says, Go down the slide for some extra fun. Well, let's go down the slide. Come on. Yes, now it's my turn to go down the slide. Will you count down with me? Okay, three, two, one. Whoa! <laughs> wow, that was so much fun. Hey, we figured everything out. We did it. We did it. We did it. Oh, yeah, we did it. Let's go. High five. <laughs> nice job. Thank you so much for helping me with that matching game. We exercise our minds by figuring out which play center matches which item, and we exercise our bodies by running around this indoor playground. <laughs> that was a lot of fun, and thank you for learning with me. Well, that's the end of this video, but if you wanna watch more of my videos, all you have to do is search for my name. 
Will you spell my name with me? Cool. M-E-E-K-A-H. Mika. All right, I'll see you next time. Bye. <gasps> hey, it's me, Mika. And today we're at Posh and Petite Playhouse in Woodland Hills, California. <laughs> Did you know this is a place where we can explore and be curious about different jobs? <laughs> I can't wait to try different jobs like an ice cream maker or a firefighter. <laughs> Come on, let's go. Which way should we go? Oh, check out this road. <laughs> Look, it's black with white stripes. Oh, black and white are opposite colors. Opposites mean they're completely different from one another. Kind of like, oh, night and day, or hot and cold. <laughs> oh, check it out. Do you see that horse over there? Oh, let's drive our car over to him. Hello, horsey. <laughs> I'm gonna name him Popsicle, cause I really love Popsicle. <laughs> Can you pretend to be a horse? <gasps> Nay! Whoa! Oh, he's got a lot of horsepower. Let's go! <laughs> Check it out, it's a marketplace. We can buy healthy fruits and vegetables here and make delicious meals. I know, let's be a grocer. <laughs> All right, see you later, Popsicle. First, we need our basket. <laughs> wow, check it out. If we wanna be a grocer, we have to get some items to put in our basket so we can ring it up. First, we'll need some alphabet soup. That's healthy and delicious. And how about some peas and carrots? And, ooh, mushrooms too. Check out all these healthy fruits and vegetables. Fruits and vegetables are good for your body because they help you grow strong. <laughs> I got it. Let's play a game. Fruit or vegetable? A carrot. It's orange and crunchy and bunny rabbits love to eat them. Mmm, tasty. <laughs> Do you know if this is a fruit or a vegetable? Oh, that's right, a vegetable. Great job. All right, how about this? It's a cucumber. It's green and it has seeds. Fruits have seeds and vegetables don't. Fruit or vegetable? Oh yeah, that's a tricky one. It's a fruit, even though it seems like it's a vegetable. But great job. Hmm. Oh, yum. A strawberry. Strawberries are really, really sweet. Is a strawberry a fruit or a vegetable? <laughs> awesome. A fruit. One fruit point, please. Hmm. Oh, look, a lemon. Lemons are one of my favorite colors, yellow, and they're really sour. Can you pretend to taste a sour lemon? <laughs> Whoa! Oh, sour is the opposite of sweet. Strawberries are sweet, but lemons are sour. Is this a fruit or a vegetable? <laughs> right, a fruit, just like the sweet strawberry. Okay. Ooh, check it out, a piece of corn. Mmm, <gasps> that's delicious. Do you know if it's a fruit or a vegetable? <laughs> right, a yummy vegetable. All right, let's go check out now. Welcome to Mika's Marketplace. Oh, I see you got corn. And you're in luck, because we have a special on corn. Just one cent. And a lemon. And our sweet strawberry. And a delicious carrot. And alphabet soup. Peas and carrots. Mmm, mushrooms. Wow, you got so many healthy options. <laughs> oh, beet 
Dinner Grocer is so much fun. We even got to help a customer take home delicious vegetables to make yummy meals. <laughs> Let's go see what other jobs we can do. Yeehaw! Hey, we're at an ice cream shop. I know, let's pretend to be ice cream makers. I scream, you scream, we all scream for ice cream. Let's go! Welcome to Mika's Magical Ice Cream Parlor. What's that? Fresh baked cookies? <laughs> Coming right up. Look at that, fresh out the oven. Oh, they smell delicious. Let's count them. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. Twelve crispy cookies. Let's taste one. Mmm, that's delicious. Would you like a bite? <laughs> there you go. Mmm. <laughs> Do you know what this is? That's right, a purple popsicle, just like my horse's name. <laughs> Would you like a popsicle? There you are, one for you and one for me. Oh, that's really cold. Perfect for a hot day. Oh, those are opposites, hot and cold. When I'm cold, oh, it makes me shiver, but when I'm hot, Oh, I could sure use a popsicle. <laughs> Would you like some ice cream today? <gasps> Great. How many scoops? <laughs> Five scoops? <laughs> okay, here we go. <gasps> One chocolate scoop. <gasps> Two, a vanilla scoop. <gasps> Three, mint chocolate chip. <laughs> <gasps> there you go, friend. Perfect. Four, a strawberry scoop. And five, a vanilla scoop on top. <laughs> wow, it's stacked up so high. <laughs> I love being an ice cream maker. I love scooping ice cream and tasting it too. Hey, I'm pretty good at it. <laughs> okay, let's see what other jobs we can do. <gasps> Don't forget Popsicle. Hello, Popsicle. Are you ready? Are you set? Go! <gasps> wow, check it out. We're in front of a fire station. A firefighter's job is to put out fires. Do you want to be a firefighter with me? <laughs> awesome, let's go. This is a cool fire station. Oh, look, a fire truck. It's red and really long too. <laughs> and look at these trucks. Let's go park. All right, to the parking lot we go. <laughs> Oh, and look at these trucks. They're really big. Oh, and these trucks are small. Big and small, those are opposites. How about this one? Big or small compared to this truck? Pretty small, right? <laughs> but what about compared to this one? Oh, now it's really big. <laughs> Do you hear that? It's a siren. Oh, we gotta get ready to go. Put out a fire. Hello? Yes, fire on one, two, three, fire road. Oh no, let's go. Grab our hose. Firefighter Mika is on the way. Grab my hose and save the day. Just put out a fire. 
<laughs> that was so much fun. Thanks for helping me. You're very brave. Firefighters are really brave. <laughs> Let's go see what other jobs we can do. Whoa, look, an animal hospital. This is where veterinarians work. Veterinarians are doctors, but for animals. Would you like to be a veterinarian with me? <laughs> awesome, let's go. Oh, look at these doors. A small door for turtles and hamsters and gerbils too, and a medium door for bunny rabbits and ducks, quack, quack, and ferrets and guinea pigs too. And a large door for cats and dogs. Large and small, those are opposites. <laughs> cool. Oh, and look at this door for birdies. Oh, that's another opposite, high and low, low and high. <laughs> Let's pretend to be birds, fly into the vet's office. Tweet, 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 tweet. <laughs> oh, do you hear that? Paging Dr. Mika, you have a patient ready. Okay. Oh, and check it out, here's our patient. Hello, puppy, how are you today? Little scratches, scratches. Did your family bring you here for a checkup? Oh, awesome. All right, let's get started, boy. We have a stethoscope. Stethoscopes are for hearing what's inside of your body, like your heart. Oh, may I check your heart too? Great. Wow, that sounds nice and strong. Okay, let's check puppy's heart. This might be a little cold. Wow, that sounds so healthy and strong. You must be getting on your daily walks, huh? Don't forget to hydrate, okay? Doctor's orders. <laughs> oh, being a veterinarian is so much fun. I love helping animals and their families too. <laughs> Now that I checked out the whole town, I'm gonna hit the road. Are you ready, Popsicle? <laughs> Let's go, giddy up! <laughs> Thank you so much for exploring different jobs with me today. <laughs> if I had to choose, I'd be a ice cream maker, grocer, animal doctor, firefighter, <laughs> all at once. <laughs> they were all so much fun, I can't just pick one. <laughs> but you know the best part? Exploring with you, friend. <laughs> yeah. Well, that's the end of this video. But if you wanna see more of my videos, all you have to do is search for my name. Can you spell my name with me? <gasps> Great! <laughs> M-E-E-K-A-H, Mika. <laughs> Okay, friends, see you later. Bye-bye. Hey, it's me, Mika, and I'm so excited because today we get to meet someone very special, Sean Johnson. <laughs> John is an Olympic gold medal gymnast. Gymnastics is a cool sport where you get to do lots of fun things with your body. It takes a lot of practice, strength, flexibility. <laughs> and Sean is going to show us some cool moves at the Nashville Gymnastics Training Center. I can't hardly wait. Woohoo! Here we go. Woo! <gasps> oh, hi. <laughs> Hey, Sean, I'm Mika. Nice to meet you. It's so great to meet you. <laughs> you too. Will you show us some gymnastics? I would love to, but first we need to stretch and warm up to stay safe. Oh, right, because yes. first things first, safety first. Yes. So let's stretch your arms first, just kind All of right. across. Arms first. Yes. <laughs> How old were you when you started doing gymnastics? I actually started gymnastics when I was two years old. Whoa. I came into the gym and I just got to run around and I loved it. Oh, that sounds so yes. fun. Yes, it's kind <laughs> of like a playground, 
Mm -hmm. but it's really soft and cushy, so you can do a lot of flips and stuff and stay safe. Oh, that's so yes. important. Let's stretch our legs next, right okay, here. Sure. So grab the back. It takes some balance, though. So. Whoa, you're really good at balancing. Yes, how a lot of practice. Yes, how often did you practice? So when I started at the age of two, I only went for like one hour, one time a week. But as I got older and I got better at it, I kind of went more and more hours. Wow. Because um, it takes a lot of practice to go to the Olympics. It really does. Yes. Yeah. And how many Olympic medals do you have? I have four Olympic medals. Oh. I have a gold on the balance beam, and I have a silver on the floor, and on the team, and on the all around. Whoa. <laughs> yes. What are the differences between the medal colors? Yes. So. The gold is number one. It's like the first place. And silver <laughs> is number two, second place. Nice. Yes. And then there's another one too, right? There's a bronze, which is third place. And did you ever lose? I did, a lot. I lost a lot of competitions, but I actually liked it better. Whenever I would make mistakes, it was so rewarding to come back mm. into the gym and work on it and get better and like feel good inside. Oh, yes. Yeah. It's okay if you make mistakes. It's just an opportunity for growth. Yes. Okay, so let's sit down a little bit and stretch a little bit more before we get started. Okay. <laughs> I'm a little nervous. Oh, it's okay to be nervous. I get nervous a lot. You do? Yes. What do you do when you get nervous? I practice so that I feel more confident. I trust myself and I say, I can do this. Mm. And I ask my coach if I'm ready. I can do this. Yes. <laughs> now lean forward a little bit. Put your feet out in front of you and touch your toes. Touch those toes. <laughs> I do think we're ready to get started. Oh, yay! Are you excited? I'm so excited. Okay, let's go do it. Here we go. <laughs> oh, wow! Oh, that was so cool. <laughs> Thank you. Can you teach me something on the beam? I can, but first we're gonna start on the low beam and progressively work our way here. Great idea. Okay. Progressively okay. means we take it one step at a time. Yes. Until you feel comfortable and much better. So we're gonna start at this end of the beam. Okay. <laughs> and you're gonna step up here. Okay, here I go. So the key to gymnastics is keeping all of your muscles squeezed as tight as possible. Squeeze, squeeze, squeeze. That helps us not fall off the beam. Right. If you do fall off the beam, it's okay. We'll right. just get back up and try again. Do you ever fall? I fall a lot. But with practice, you get more confident and better at your skills, so you fall less. Right. Okay, so arms will go straight out to the side. Yep. You can, I think you got this one. Oh, thanks. Right. You're gonna kind of look right down at the beam to mm -hmm. make sure you walk in a straight line. Okay. And we're just gonna walk forward. Okay. Walk one, mm -hmm. two, two, three, three, four, four. Okay, nice. now we're gonna walk backwards. Oh, that sounds tricky. So the thing with this is you're gonna feel for the beam and then plant your foot. Make sure you look down. Feel for the beam, for the plant. Beam. And you're gonna go back till you feel the end of the beam. Okay. And when you feel the end, you're gonna stop. Okay. Keep going, <laughs> keep feeling, keep feeling. <gasps> there you are. Yay, I made it to the stop. end. <laughs> so now, we're gonna do flamingo walks. Okay. You're flamingo. gonna take a step. Hmm. Flamingo. Flamingo. Step. Flamingo. Ska, ska. <laughs> <laughs> oh, there flamingo. we go. Step. Flamingo. <laughs> step. Flamingo. Now, in gymnastics, we yes. always like to be barefoot uh -huh. because being able to feel the beam with our bare feet helps us have more control. It probably safer. makes it less slippery, too. Yes. So, one more. Flamingo. Good job. <laughs> okay, next skill, we're gonna try a scale. Uh-huh. I don't know why they call it this, but it's just the name. You're gonna take your dominant side, which is usually the same side of your body you write with. My right hand side. Yes, and for some reason, I think one side of your body is just usually stronger. So we Ooh. favor that in gymnastics. Okay. So you take your dominant side, mm -hmm. lean forward, arms out, and scale down. Whoa! And scale back up. Scale down. <gasps> and scale back up. Good job. <laughs> that takes a lot of strength and a lot of balance. Mm-hmm. Okay, last one, are you ready? I'm ready. So with this one, 
we're actually gonna do a jump. <gasps> Whoa. Now, for all the kids watching, make sure you always have a coach with you and you don't do anything your coach doesn't say is safe for you. Okay. Okay. Is but it I safe, think you're Sean? ready. I think you're ready okay. for this. Coach says we're ready. <laughs> so when you jump, you wanna squeeze all your muscles super tight. You're gonna go down, jump, down. So okay. bend, straight, bend. And squeeze all those muscles together. Okay. Make sure you look at the beam too. There we go. Ready? Here we go. Whoa! It's okay. We can try it again. Count to ten and try again. <gasps> Will you count to ten with us? Oh, great. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. And okay. try again. Okay, here we go. Remember, squeeze your muscles, mm -hmm. squeeze all everything together, and I think you got this one by yourself. Are you ready? Okay. Make sure you look at the beam. Ready, one, two, two three. three. Good job! Yeah. <laughs> okay, I think you're ready for the big beam. <gasps> okay, let's try the big beam. Let's go. So, with the big beam, I personally think the hardest part is just climbing up. So I'll help you climb up, and then I can hold your hand through the whole thing. Okay, it's really tall. I know. But it might feel tall, but nothing's changed. It's the same beam as down there, mm -hmm. and you are so confident and strong, I know you can do it up here. Thanks, Dad. Let's do it. <laughs> this is tricky. Whoa! Does it feel a little higher? Yeah, I feel a little nervous. Okay, remember, tell yourself, I can do this, take a deep breath, and know that your coach, myself, <laughs> believes you can do it too. I can do this. <sighs> deep breaths. And make sure if you're at home, you don't try any of this without a coach or without a gym, because safety is definitely first. Mm -hmm. Most Good important. Job. Okay, you've kind of mastered the forward walking. Let's try the backward. Okay. <laughs> okay, look at the beam, squeeze all your muscles, feel, feel your behind you and plant your foot. <laughs> Good job. Good job, let's take two more steps. Okay, one, one <gasps> two. two. Okay, are you ready for your flamingos? Yes. Okay, let's try four this time. Four flamingos. Yeah. Here we go. One, two, three, four flamingos. Good job. Splash, splash, splash. Okay. Are you ready for your jump? I'm ready. Okay, so Whoa. here, I'm actually gonna get on the beam with you and okay. help you with your jump. So, what we're gonna do, I'll show you, you feel my hands. Mm -hmm. I'm gonna do a small jump, keep every muscle really tight, just like that. I'm gonna hold your hands, you use me for balance. You're gonna squeeze everything together, go down, jump, down, and you're good. Okay. Ready? I'm ready. Okay, make sure you look at the beam. Ready? Mm -hmm. One, two, three. Whoa! Good job! <laughs> that was really good. That was fun. You wanna try one more? Yeah. Okay, ready? One, two, three. <gasps> good job! Whoa! I'm so proud of you. Oh, I think you've so. mastered the beam. Do you wanna go to the floor? Okay. Let's go. Let's go. Oh, that beam was so fun! I was so proud of you. You did such a good job. Oh, thank you, Sean. <laughs> and the medal goes to... <gasps> Mika! <laughs> so, now that we're on the floor, I thought I could teach you another new skill. Oh, great! But first, can you do a cartwheel? Oh, yes. I love doing cartwheels. Do you mind showing me your cartwheel? I'd be happy to. Okay, let's see it. <laughs> That's a really good cartwheel. Oh, thank Since you, you already know how to do a cartwheel, mm -hmm. how about we take the next step and we learn a round off? Sounds great, a okay. round off? A round off is like a cartwheel, but instead of landing one foot at a time, you put your feet together. Whoa. Yeah, it's a foundational skill in gymnastics that you learn before you learn all the big flips, like flips and tricks. Oh, yes, yeah. that sounds great. Okay, so I'll show you first. Uh huh. The cartwheel, just like you did, is pretty simple like this. Mm -hmm. One foot after another. So what you're going to do is, when you're upside down, your uh -huh. feet will come together and land together. Kind of like this. Whoa! <laughs> and <laughs> this might sound silly, but the floor, 
You want to push it away as hard as you can. Okay. That's what kind of gives you that speed to kind of jump off the floor. All right. Okay, are you ready to try one? Sure. Let's I'll give, give it, it a, a shot. It's okay if we make mistakes. We'll work on it. That's true. That's what I learned on the beam. Yes. <laughs> Let's see. Okay, here I go. Whoa. <laughs> Good job. Good job. So we also want to try to keep our legs as straight as we can. Okay. And a little trick for that is if you point your toes as hard as you can, your legs will naturally straighten. Really? Yeah. Okay, let's try one more time. Sure. That was a lot better. Oh, Yay! Good. I'm so proud of you again. That's another <laughs> new skill. Thank you so much, Sean. Of course. That was awesome. Good job. <laughs> <gasps> Whoa! <laughs> that was so cool. Thank you. Do you think I could do that someday? I think with a lot of practice and hard work, you definitely could. Oh, thank you for showing me all those skills. You did such a good job on the beam, on the floor. I was really proud of you. Oh, yeah. We had such a busy day today. We learned how to do <gasps> balancing walks on the beam and scales. Wow. <laughs> and we learned how to do a round off at the end of our cartwheels. Yeah. Oh, we also learned that there's a side of your body that's usually stronger than the other side. Yeah, and that's the side we usually use in gymnastics. Oh, yeah. <laughs> well, that's the end of this video. But if you want to watch more of my videos, all you have to do is search for my name. Can you spell my name with me? <laughs> M-E-E-K-A-H, Mika. Can you spell my name with me? S H A. W-N, Sean! <laughs> Bye, friends! Oh, I'd like to keep practicing, please. Me too. <laughs>